Hey folks, it's Neil here at the Fix Yourself channel. A couple of videos ago, I showed you how to make an eyelet terminal for a battery cable, and I got to wondering, could I also make a post type terminal uh, that would go on a battery post uh, using the same method? And you know what? You sure as heck can. I'm on a copper tubing kick here, I guess. Uh, but you know, I was thinking uh, a couple of video go videos ago, I showed you how to make a eyelet terminal uh, for a battery cable out of a piece of copper tubing. And uh, I just want all you folks to know the, these type of repairs are not the recommended repair. You should use a, like a store bought an item, you know, something made for the job. But what it is for, it's for those situations where, you know, it's late at night and you got to go for whatever reason and all the stores are closed. and. Uh, Sometimes people live a hour or so away from a store and just going to the store it really isn't an option when when they need to get going. Uh, it's also a good quick fix, temporary fix to have things work uh, until you can get to the store and buy the proper part. Um, what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to see if I can make a battery terminal uh, clamp for the uh, that would go on a battery post, not just one that not just an eyelet that would go on a bolt, but rather uh, one that's uh, similar to what you'd find uh, to clamp your battery cable to a, to a battery post itself. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten out a good amount of this tubing. We're going to need a whole lot more flat than last time. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is something about the same size as a battery uh, terminal post and uh, 12 millimeter socket or a half inch socket is darn close to the same size as a battery post. All right, so if we need two inches to wrap around the battery post, we also need some room to uh, make a place for our bolt to go through. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give an extra inch and I'm gonna cut this, th I'm gonna smash down about three inches of this copper tubing. Just put it in the vise at my three inch mark and crank her down. There we go. And on this I think I want to have it as wide but as thin as possible. So I think I'm also going to beat this a little bit with a hammer. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Now we'll try and roll it around the socket to get the loop formed approximately at the right size. Just put the socket right in the vise here. And we'll just see how good a job I can do wrapping this around the socket. Once I get it looking something like this, I'm going to use a pair of vice grips to try and draw it in against the socket and uh, have a place where we can drill our hole for our bolt to go through. I think what I'll do actually before I do anything else, I think I'm going to put a little bit of a 90 degree bend on this, maybe not quite 90. I can see right away I'm going to have to flatten out a little bit more of my uh, copper tubing. So I'll just put it in the vise like this and just clamp her down like that. There you go. I don't look too bad. Now if I can put this part in here like this, maybe we can put the rest in the vise. See how well this works. There we go. Pretty close. 
pretty close to what we want. Maybe I'll do the final pinch with the vice grips. Hey, what do you think about that, sports fans? I don't, I don't think that looks half bad. Um, now all I got to do is drill my hole right there so I can put a bolt in. But I think that's going to work pretty good. So the next thing I'll do is I'll drill my hole. There, I got her all center punched here. Let's see if we can, yeah, there he is. I have to do that in focus. So I center punch it and I'll drill a hole. Okay, let's quick drill a hole in this thing here. All right, what do you think about that, sports fans? Ain't too bad. The last step, just like last time, is we'll cut this off to length. Now I'll quick deburr it with my handy deburring tool. Okay, sports fans, now let's just say you had a battery term, a cable like this one which had eyelet terminals on each end and you needed a battery post uh, uh, type terminal. Uh, you could just cut that uh, end off, put the, strip off the insulation about that far, put that in, and then just crimp this down with a pair of wire cutters. Obviously, I got a one inch uh, qu by quarter quarter inch uh, diameter by one inch long bolt, uh, a half inch would have worked a lot better, but that's what I had. Now let's just see how nicely that works on a battery. All right, let's see if this works. We'll stick around in the battery. Like I said, I didn't bother putting a piece of cable on because I didn't need to right now. However, take a look at how nice that fits on a, on a battery here. Um, we're gonna have to use two, two wrenches to tighten it up, but you get the idea. You tighten that up and that would make one heck of a darn good battery clamp and uh, cost me next to nothing. Uh, it only took me about a half hour, including trying to video this, so I bet you could make it in about 15 minutes. And uh, by no means are these, am I suggesting that you use something like this in place of a store-bought uh, piece, but if you're in a situation where you really need to have a battery terminal clamp, uh, and you don't have one, boy, you just can't beat that, can you? So if you liked what you saw here, uh, I'd appreciate it if you liked, shared, subscribed, you know, do everything it takes to make this uh, number one channel on YouTube. And uh, if you have any uh, suggestions or criticisms, put them in the comments below. I'd appreciate seeing that too. Until next time, we'll see you here at the Fix Yourself channel.